during the uh, last meeting of the European Society or uh, European School of uh, Hematology, I had a lovely chat with Professor Philippe Moreau about the latest uh, developments in the field of multiple myeloma. Uh, and we uh, went through the latest EHA ESMO guidelines. And this is really amazing because in the transplant eligible uh, patient uh, we discuss the uh, advent and efficacy of novel induction regimens, the quadruplet regimens uh, with uh, uh, anti-CD38 uh, uh, and the triplet VTD or VRD, Dara VTD, uh, Daratumumab VRD. Uh, we also discussed uh, the uh, advances in the uh, non-transplant eligible population uh, and obviously uh, the use of anti-CD38 based combinations is also now becoming more and more standard of care. Uh, Dara, Revdex, Daratumumab, Lenalidomide, Dexamethasone, or Daratumumab, Bortezomib, Malfalan, Prednisone, Dara, VMP. Uh, we also, of course, uh, discussed uh, the different uh, uh, treatment options at time of relapse with a special focus on the lenalidomide refractory patient where uh, we do have now some uh, good and effective combinations like uh, daratumumab, carfizumab, dex, this is a Candor trial, isatuximab, uh, carfizumab, dex, the Ikema trial, or daratumumab, uh, pomalidomide, dexamethasone, Apollo trial, or isatuximab, uh, pomalidomide, dex, this is the Icaria trial. And last but not least, of course, we uh, could not skip uh, the role of immune therapy, whether uh, CAR T cells, uh, one construct has just been uh, approved, but also the advent of uh, bispecific uh, uh, antibodies, but also uh, antibody drug conjugates. So really, uh, it's a fascinating new era uh, for multiple uh, myeloma, and this is really uh, great news for the patient and for all of us uh, in the uh, myeloma space.